Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, this going to uh, be my last video for the next few hours because I got to get prepared, get ready to go back to uh, New York and uh, go change clothes and get ready for the fight. All right, you guys, um, I didn't get a chance to put this video out as well as I didn't get a chance to put the other video out. But like I said, y'all got to understand, I, I keep telling you guys, I talk to people behind the scenes as well as on the scenes so what i mean by that i talk to people on camera as well as off camera when i go to these fights i really try to interact with people do my research because like i said i feel like i belong just as much as the other people be there so i feel like i belong there too so at the end of the day like i told y'all i'm doing this for y'all and i don't want y'all to be misconstrued about some of the propaganda that's been put out by a lot of these fraudulent like channels and shit because i'm keeping it 100 you know what i'm saying i don't have an agenda at the end of the day i'm not trying to be divisive you know but it is some people out here that's just being divisive and, and you know at the end of the day i told you i ain't finna be no lab dog or no pony boy for no promotional company you know i start exclusively getting the check from top top rank and then I mean, at the end of the day, then, you know, I'm going to be all the way in. When I start getting the check from PBC, then I'm going to start being all the way in on PBC. Well, Eddie Hearn, I would never work with Eddie Hearn. I would never take money from Eddie Hearn just for obvious reasons, you know, and just some of, you know, some of his morals have to be put in question. But I was talking to a lot of people you know, um, around the Boston circuit, um, sanctioning bodies, as you know, the WBC was there, the WBO is going to be there. They have their representatives, but here's the thing. Um, I told you some of the best interviews you get is off camera and I'm going to share some information with y'all. Now for the people that's blind to this situation and they want to, <laughs> They want to believe some of the nonsense that's getting put out by other people. Then that's on them because I'm at the point I don't give a fuck who get mad. Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to continue to perpetrate a lie. I'm not going to lie for nobody and I'm not going to perpetrate. I know what's going on. I've been saying this for months and y'all can choose to believe me whether you want to or not. If you objective and you understand where I'm coming from, you're going to listen to me. Uh, I've been trying to put out the truth. And that's what I want y'all to know. This ain't about selling out. This ain't about cooning. Y'all know I'm far from a coon. Okay, so let's get that straight. I, I'm i with a beautiful, I'm with a beautiful woman. So, you know, me and her don't see eye to eye. But, you know, sometimes she be kind of cooning sometimes. But it's cool. But I'll fix her. Um, nevertheless, um... Let me talk about this situation once again that's going on with Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. Because, like I said, I'm finna defuse and debunk the bullshit that's getting put out there. Look, whether you like Terrence Crawford or not, whether you like him as a person, whether you, you know, at the end of the day, he's one of the best fighters out there. Okay? I feel he's the best fighter on the planet. Um... He's getting a raw deal. And that's just the bottom line. People talking about it ain't their job to promote Terrence Crawford, but why is it your job to strictly be <laughs> promote somebody else? Because like I keep telling you, I keep trying to tell you, homeboy ain't, ain't for the brothers. I don't know how many times I got to tell you this. His bottom line is green, and people got you thinking that he, that he down with the brothers and he power to the people. That's a myth. And I know for a fact it ain't true. Okay. I know for a fact. I don't got nothing against the dude. I mean, business is business. But let's stop making certain people out to be somebody that they not. They not for the for the brothers. And they not for the color of black. They for the color of green. Whatever makes sense. Because I know quite a few brothers that they got, <laughs> got the screws put to them. And don't listen to some of these people that try to make it look like if you... If you, uh, if you anti PBC or you, or you have issues with the PBC, 
versus top rank. I have issues with all these promotional companies. I got issues with all of them. Because at the end of the day, it don't seem like nobody is making an effort to give people the fights they want. You hear excuse after excuse. But at the end of the day, some of the propaganda that's been getting pushed is that that one person is at fault why some of these fights ain't happened. Like I keep telling you, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury got made. Um, you know, uh Vooslick and Adonis Stevenson got made. So why can't we get the 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 welterweight showdown that everybody wants? And it's amazing how everybody is hollering about this stuff about uh hollering about this. It it just amazes me. Just a few years ago, we was bitching and whining and moaning when Top Rank was refusing to do bit. Like I said, at the end of the day, Bob did did some 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 dirty shit. He refused to make outside fights with other companies he had a lot of inside fights top rank fights but now we got the same thing going on with another guy and now all of a sudden it's all good do that make any kind of sense i thought we want to see the best fights out there i then gave you proof after proof that there had been offers i provided proof from people where the, the shit came out their own mouth keith thurman confirmed that it was an offer to fight bud and he didn't take it. Uh, Danny Garcia was offered money to fight, to fight, but he turned it down. Why couldn't he make? He could. Why didn't he just ask for more money? At the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, I'm just telling you that other side of the street is complete garbage. Is is just complete garbage. And if it get to the point to where certain people don't ever do an interview with me again, then, hey, I'll accept it. But I'm not that other side of the street. is just complete bullshit. It, it, it's bullshit. Well, Deontay Walder is uh, walking on the side of the, the other side of the street to fight Tyson Fury. Somehow this fight got made, but the other fights can't get made. Okay. Now, like I said before, once again, you had people... Uh, Putting this this notion out that that Bud is scared of Sean Porter, that ain't remotely the case. That's they friends, they got love for each other. But at the end of the day, as I keep saying, business is business. Sean Porter said the same exact thing that Bud Crawford said about nobody ain't gonna make him fight his friend. But then once again, you get these these nut huggers that want to make these video insinuating that Bud is ducking Sean Porter, and that is not the case. All this is about is a bandetta, and basically, I'm not going to let let Bud get more than one belt. And then people sitting up talking this baloney about it ain't uh, the PBC's job to promote. What the fuck are you talking about? If you're trying to set up a fight with this person and you're trying to sell it, it is your job to promote this person unless you're not trying to make that fight, right? And it appears that certain fights ain't trying to get made. When is black people as a whole going to stop always get, uh, turning a blind eye and seeing something that's blatantly looking in right before the eye, right in the eye? We know whose fault it is that certain fights ain't happen at welterweight. And unfortunately, it ain't the, it ain't just the 80, 88 year old man who's at fault. It's the Harvard gr graduate and the dude that's 50 and 50 and oh, that's holding up some of these fights. And the truth got to be said. Like I said, do you guys want the truth or do you guys want to hear bullshit? Do you want to hear the same propaganda getting uh, put out? Because like I said before, why all of a sudden um, Andre Ward got to be the standard? Why Andre Ward got to be the Malcolm X for the whole whole um, entire black boxing community? Why is he the only one being picked on? Why is just Andre Ward? Why ain't other, other people being held to the, those standards? Why ain't other people being called out? Because like I said, I don't see too many of these PVC dudes talking talking about blackness and awareness. You didn't have Andre Ward speaking on more racial issues than, than the so-called people that's on the other side of the street. And that's fact. Because like I said, who called out Gucci? Andre Ward. 
Who called out some of the double standards that went on in how he was treated, Andre Ward? And like I said, for people to be sitting up here saying, okay, off one statement that he made, like he said, so you just going to turn your back on him? Andre Ward do more for the black community than these so-called power to the people dudes do. So, like I said, I don't give a fuck who get mad at me about this shit because I'm tired of, like, biting my tongue because th enough is enough now. These are the people from the sanctioning bodies that told me. Flat out. They don't get flat out told me who was the problem, who who keeps who keep asking these questions. Why did Wilder and Fury get made, but you can't get the other fights made? Stop listening to propaganda, because let me ask you something. Let's go back in history. Let's go back in history. As I said before, really listen to this video. Don King and Bob Arum hate each other. They despise each other. You know, you know that Don King tried to uh, have uh, Bob Arum smacked a long time ago, right? He admitted that. But, you know, Bob Arum got some, you know, got a few ties to some people. Like I say, Bob Arum knows some important people, too. Hey, he said it on the ESPN interview, so it's not like I'm making up shit. So, with that being said, they was able to get fights made. They was able to get fights made. For real. But now, all of a sudden, here we are, 2019, about to be 2020. We clamor for certain fights, and we can't get fights made. We can't, we can't get Demetrius Andre versus Canelo. Can't get Canelo versus Charlo. Can't get Triple G versus, versus you know, Charlo. And like I said before, a lot of y'all is just some straight-up hypocrites and nuthuggers. Because like I said before, nobody made videos saying that Jamal Charlo need to leave where he at and go somewhere else. And he, he basically said he in the same position as Terrence Bud Crawford. But you didn't hear. But you you always hear these people talk about somebody shouldn't have resigned and all that shit. Get the fuck out of here about this resign shit. At the end of the day, it's it, money. Fights need to be made and money can be made. Like I said before, stop listening to this bullshit that's being put out there. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it 100 because it's about time that somebody st somebody put this out there. I'm not worried about nobody getting mad at me or getting upset. Stop listening to propaganda. Stop listening to propaganda that's being put out by a lot of these a lot of these channels. Especially motherfuckers that don't go to go to fights. Especially motherfuckers that don't do no interviews and talk to executives. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but when I say I go to these fights, I go to these fights. I talk to everybody. I try to get as much information as possible and present it to y'all. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I can't be saying people's names because they watch my channel. And like I said, y'all got to understand something. People can be mad at certain people for certain things that they didn't put out. But like I said, they accurate with their information. I told y'all two years ago, or I told y'all a year and a half ago that Floyd Mayweather was probably going to fight two more times now he come now he coming back he already didn't fought once in an exhibition fight and now he got something planned in 2020 which i'm gonna do a, a totally d different video concerning that how homeboy need to just stop it and just give up the spotlight and let somebody else have it but like i said before man i'm tired of this propaganda that's been getting through at y'all because y'all had a right to know the truth like i said these are people that work with the with the sanctioned bodies, they they work with them, and they gave their own unbiased opinion about what's going on. So I'm just telling you, stop listening to the baloney. I don't care about no lawsuits and what happened and all this type of shit. Because at the end of the day, we trying to get fights made. And if you on some revenge shit and you upset about people suing you or whatever the case may be if you can't let bygones be bygones and move on and try to make fights for the better of the fans then you need to get your ass out the way and i don't give a damn what color you is if you prevent preventing the fans 
from seeing the best fights out there because you got some bandetta, yo, yo, your ego is wounded, then you part of the problem and you need to go too. Don't listen to this bullshit where you got people saying if you speak speak out against uh the PBC or Al Heyman, you some kind of sellout. Man, fuck anybody that's on that shit. I got issues with every last one of these promotional companies. Okay, and 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 let's get something straight. Cause uh because by popular popular vote, popular demand, Al Heyman ain't really no promoter. These most of these fighters that's affiliated with the PBC are their own promoter. So once again, what's stopping them from making fights? So somebody is lying. Al Heyman is supposed to be an advisor. So I guess he advises certain people not to take certain fights. Now, of course, Al Al Heyman is, you know, helps with negotiations and all that type of stuff. But at the end of the day, he ain't supposed to be a promoter. So let's keep it 100, man. What's going on? Yeah, people getting advised, all right. People getting advised. Because like I said, the same shit that we accused top rank of doing, now we getting the same thing again. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not interested in the Danny Garcia, Sean Porter rematch. Been there, done that. Not interested in the Adrian Broner, Sean Porter rematch. Been there, done that. Not interested in Sean Porter, Keith Thurman. Not interested in Keith Thurman, uh, Sean Porter. Keith, not interested in Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia. He already didn't fought those dudes. So that's what we get now, recycling fights. Rematches are good, but you don't constantly want to see dudes in rematches. And I think that was one of the biggest problems with Manny Pacquiao. He fought too many rematches. Like I said, multiple fights with Tim Bradley. Multiple fights with uh, Eric Morales. Marco Antonio Barrera. Juan Manuel Marquez. Okay. So you do uh, you do the math. You know, three fights, four fights with Mar- Marquez. Three fights with Eric Morales. That's seven. Uh, three fights with Tim Bradley. That's ten. Two fights with Barrera. That's eleven. I mean, two. Excuse me. That's uh twelve. So basically, twelve of Manny Pacquiao fights have been against the same person. So I mean, come on, man. I think that's one of the things that hinder Manny Pacquiao. Sometimes you only need to fight a dude once. Sometimes you don't want to see multiple rematches. You don't want to see that shit over and over again. Okay? Rematch is okay, but you don't want to see that constantly. You don't constantly want to see a dude fighting somebody three, four times over. But yeah, the truth needed to be told, man. If people upset with what I I, I got to say, that's too fucking bad. You know, real talk. Because I'm tired of people... I'm tired of people pushing the agenda and being divisive and all that type of shit towards certain people. Because at the end at the end of the day, you doing the other dudes work. You doing the you you doing the same thing that you accuse other people of doing, which is being divisive. And you you playing the role. Ain't nothing wrong. Listen, I'm gonna keep it one hundred. Ain't nothing wrong with supporting Andre Ward. You may not agree with certain things he say, but that don't mean you have to turn your back on him. Now, it's not like he where Stephen A. Smith is. It's funny. You got people who support Stephen A. Smith and he didn't shit it on the black community on several occasions. He didn't try to do in black people on several occasions. But you still got people that support him. So let's just keep that and retrospective. Tim Bradley, that's a different kind of thing. It's funny, you got people with their inconsistencies on who they want to call out. Man, don't listen to these lies that's getting presented to y'all. Because at the end of the day, at, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Stop listening to propaganda. Stop listening to uh, bandana, bandana-laced uh, dialogue. Because like I said, I'm going to make this very clear. I I have certain issues with, with Terrence Bud Crawford. At the end of the day, I don't like how, and I'm going to say this, and I'll tell Bud to his face, I don't like how Bud treats black media. I don't like that. But I support him as a fighter. I don't like how he treats black media. I'll tell Bud to his face. I'll say it in front of Bomac. But at the end of the day, 
I'm going to still support him because he a black man. So that's all I have to say about that. I'm done.